Blunt, it's James and Wine Guy, Chardonnay coming from the Finger Lakes. Stay tuned for this review. So the wine right here is called Heron Hill, Chardonnay and Oak from the Ingle Vineyard, 2013 Vintage, Finger Lakes, 12% ABV. Now this is really great because I think this is signifying the region. You can have a lot of low ABV wines and it's really remarkable to taste these low ABVs versus a 14.5 range for some Chardonnays and you're like, okay, I get it. I understand why uh, lower ABV is important. It's not a dill breaker or dill maker necessarily, but sometimes it's really nice to have that distinguishing characteristic and it's taste the differences side by side. So back panel for inspection right here. I love the coloration in the story as well. Uh, coloration of the label itself, very iconic in my opinion. And uh, so this is a longtime producer. I believe they've been in business for about 40 years and they produce everything from uh, Pinot Blanc, which I love Pinot Blanc and I can't wait to taste that. I hope I get to taste that when I visit in August of 2015, uh, this year actually. So this producer has Pinot Blanc again, uh, Muscat, Blanc Frankish, Cabernet Franc, and Pinot Noir. So I think a lot of people are seeking unoaked wines simply because, you know, I think a lot of people just really want to get down to almost a uh, Chablis-esque characteristic, getting down to the point of not tasting any wood whatsoever. And I think that's because the pendulum swung so hard on the heavy oak side that a lot of people just remember and linger on to that, to that point where I think people are seeking a different uh, interpretation of Chardonnay and that producer right here, here in Hill, is doing a great job of that. So here we go first is a scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So in this, I'm really getting some very mixed notes here in terms of scent to flavor profile, or, you know, in my opinion, very, very unique and different. So in this, I'm getting uh, white floral characteristics, green and orange citrus tones, tea and white peach notes as well. Next is the flavor characterization, then the point score. Beautiful notes of heirloom apple, green citrus, wet stones, seashells, hint of tropical fruit notes as well. This one is a 9.2 out of my 10.0 scale. Think of this as 92 points out of 100 points. So if you've given up on Chardonnay, come on back. There's a lot of producers who are really seeking to give a definitive difference and unknown is a great way of getting there. So stay tuned for more reviews. I'll put more information on the producer down below. Hope to visit this year and taste more of their wines. And if I do so, I'll do more reviews, of course. Do me a favor, give a like to this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And stay tuned for many more reviews. I can't wait to visit Finger Lakes and to uh, you know highlight and, and bring to you many of these wines that I'm tasting. Stay tuned for more. I'm on a variety of social medias on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you so much for watching me today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.